Today I want to talk to you about translucent powder. Um, now I've used translucent powder every single day for several years uh, and in a quite a specific way which I want to show you. Uh, we didn't have one in the range so I used a very fine milled um, lightweight translucent powder and I'm very pleased and proud to say that we now do have one in the range. Uh, this is it. And um, of course, since we launched it, I've been using it every day. So let me show you how I find translucent powder absolutely essential. First of all, um, I'm very conscious when I put on my foundation that I've still got areas that need extra help. So I use a concealer and those areas are in the corner of my eyes here and sort of blemishes. I've got a spot on my chin at the moment and anything around my nose. And I've got an age spot there and an age spot there. So I just use concealer to help those areas look better. Uh, so concealer brush, which is our brush four. And our concealer is a creamy formulation. So it's nice and easy to move. And it's uh, very effective at just making sure that those bits that are probably bluer than the rest of my skin or discoloured in some way, shape or form, um, look better. So I'm going to do that area around my nose and spot on my chin and then my couple of age spots. So I'm going to put some concealer on those so that they really disappear. And having stippled the concealer on with my brush, I'm now just going to do two more things. I'm going to push using the warmth of my finger. I'm going to push that concealer into my skin. Don't drag it. Don't spread it like that. Just push it in like that. Wherever you've got it. It doesn't take long because it's this lovely creamy consistency so it's really easy to combine with your skin and that spot down there. So I hope you agree that that's now got rid of quite a lot of that discoloration. Now the last bit is, the, is where I use the translucent powder. So a little brush like this, this is our brush number seven. And I now set the concealer with the translucent powder like that. And having done this last application of concealer, I know that that will stay put all day long. And actually this final touch with the translucent powder does that final bit of the disappearing act that you want. Because you basically, when people look at your face, they want you want them to see a, a totally even skin tone. Now that's obviously one way to use translucent powder and the other way, some of you don't like shine, um, maybe you've got slightly greasy skin or you just don't like that effect of a slightly shiny face, uh, maybe you're going out for an evening occasion and you want your makeup to be uh, just beautifully soft and flawless um, and finished. Um, in a way that translucent powder does brilliantly. So this time, big fat brush, this is our brush number one, and you just stroke it over like that, nice big strokes, and then light. This is literally the finishing touch. So we call our translucent powder perfect finish. And that's it. So that's all I'm gonna do. The, the whole point of this is to keep it really light, really pretty, so that uh, you don't get anything that looks caked. I mean, this won't look caked anyway, but that's not the effect that you want with powder. That old fashioned look that um, our mothers and grandmothers had when they went off to powder their noses, which I know is a euphemism, but at the same time, they did used to get those, you know, those compact things or, or powder puffs and uh, I know my mum her nose always looked whiter than the rest of her face because she literally did powder her nose anyway that's not the effect that you want um, and uh, I hope you'll agree that that uh, small amount of translucent powder just finishes my whole look thanks for watching bye bye